Hi guys, welcome back to my vlog. My name is Anna, and today we're gonna be doing a Starbucks challenge, which is gonna be fun. So it's gonna make us try Starbucks a secret menu for a week. I'm gonna try out the Skinless Frappuccino, and um, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm just funny because there's actually a stomach behind it, so it's waiting for me to drink. And then I'm going to grab it because I have my name on it. And it's like looking at the drink. It's like, why is it so liquidy? It shouldn't be liquidy. So I kept looking at it for like five minutes, and then I'm like looking at the actual order, which I'm taking to lemonade, which is my go to drink. And like, oh, that's why. <laughs> So then I went back and said, like, hey, I think I got the wrong drink. And she's like, because she was like, your drink hasn't been made yet. It's like, oh, that's why. So I apologized. So, and I feel bad because they just wasted a drink because of me. I feel bad. But um, that's what happened. So it's, I even looked at the name. It's like, that's my name and your name. That's how you spell my name. So like, you know, I have a different drink, but it turns out someone else with that same name has ordered it online from like the Starbucks app. So that was fun. But anyways, let's try it out and see if it's worth six bucks. I don't know how to feel about it. It's a slushy. It's a strawberry and creme frappuccino. That's how you get that skin old frappuccino, no classic syrup, two pumps of vanilla syrup, and a half of raspberry syrup, and whipped cream, which already melted. I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like the whipped cream is kind of ruining the taste. It makes it all squashy. But I mean, it's not that bad when I buy it again. I don't think I'll buy it again. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy it again. But you can definitely um, have the raspberry syrup taste and the strawberry. That's the two most notable tasting you have from this drink. I mean, it's okay, but like six bucks? No. By the way, um, I will see you guys tomorrow or the next day. Um, I kind of want to try that cake batter. It's like something like that. So I'll try that for tomorrow and hopefully maybe that will, will be a great. We will see and hopefully no embarrassing moments. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Hi guys. So it's day two of my Starbucks challenge. I'm gonna try that cake batter. Um, I don't know how to feel about it. I hope it'll be interesting. But um, yeah, so as you can see, oh, 
it's a little bit chilly and so I'm not looking forward to Nevada. It looks so gloomy. It's not good either. So like I'm, I just want a butter cake pop to be into the blender. That's like how they did it. That's like the recipe is called. But they aren't allowed to do that. So this was kind of a fail. <laughs> I didn't bought the K-pop, um, cake, cake pop, not K-pop, but cake pop. Oh my gosh. But, uh, I don't know. So this is a fail. Well, not really a fail, like it's a half fail. It's not bad, but, um, it's not something I will buy again. Hi guys, welcome to day 3 of my Starbucks challenge. I'm going to do the nerds refresher. It looks really interesting, so let's go for it. Which is water, lemonade? Uh, no water. Um, can I ha have um, a blend of apple juice? And, apple juice? And two pumps of raspberry flavor. Alright. I drink the same thing. Oh, yay! <laughs> so, I got my drink. Let's go. Cheers. It's actually really, really good. You can definitely taste the apple juice a lot more. But it's really good. This is a nuns refresher. So this is the recipe. It has strawberry I see refresher as the base. No water, uh, a blend of apple juice and two pumps of raspberry flight syrup. That's what the recipe shows and I just asked them to put strawberries as you can see. So so far this is a winner and um yeah so i don't know i feel like i'm more of a refresher drink person i'm not really fond of frappuccino or anything like that so but i do want to try out the twix frappuccino like it actually sounds really good and 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 i like twix anyway so we will see about that i will probably have it tomorrow so um yeah, so far this is a winner. Cheers. Hi guys, welcome back to day five, day four. It's not tomorrow yet. And we're gonna try the Twix Frappuccino. It's gonna be interesting. Let me call caramel Frappuccino. Uh, two cups of hazelnut syrup. Java chips. Extra caramel. Yeah, and, and um, like extra caramel drizzle. Yeah. And matcha and drizzle on top of the cream. Matcha and drizzle with the drizzle on the cake on the cream. Matcha. Matcha. You don't have the matcha drink. Oh, okay. That's okay. Um, make it for caramel. Oh, yeah. Can I drink? Okay, hi guys. So, I got my drinks. This is supposed to be Twix Frappuccino. As you can see, it already melted. But basically it's caramel frappuccino, two pumps hazelnut, java chips, and extra caramel drizzle. I, they don't have matcha and drizzle, so 
I just substituted for a caramel drizzle, but it's not bad, and it does have kind of like a coffee flavor to it, so it's actually not that bad. I think I actually prefer this one than the Nerd Refresher, so this might be n number one, and then this will be um, the Nerd Refresher in number two. So we do have two hits, and tomorrow we're going to be doing Cotton Candy Frappuccino, I think it was. So I'm actually excited to finish this off because this is killing my party. <laughs> I don't know how people can do Starbucks like every single day. Like I don't know how you guys do that. So um, we got two hits so far. Hello guys, welcome to day five of the Starbucks challenge. I'm actually glad it's over. <laughs> but today I actually want to try this like a lemonade drink kind of. I used to want to do cotton candy, but I kind of want to try the lemonade one more. So, yeah, so that's the game plan. Do you have a tall lemonade drink? Oh, lemonade? Yeah, can I have one pump vanilla? Uh, mango, mango and dry fruit inclusion. And two pumps of raspberry syrup. Okay, hi guys. So it's the final day for Starbucks. I got my drink. This is, I actually don't know what this is, but it's a, like a lemonade, pumps, vanilla, raspberry syrup, and mango dragon fruit inclusion. So I was supposed to get like mixed colors with these guys. I'm gonna show a picture up here so, so you know how it's supposed to look like, but I mean, let's try it out. Yeah, it's not bad. It's you can definitely taste the lemon, obviously, <laughs> but um, it's actually really good. So I am definitely a refresher person. I'm not really a fan of frappuccino, mm. but um, yeah. So, so my final thoughts is I feel like this will be my number one. That Twix Frappuccino will be number two. It wasn't bad. I actually really like it. I don't really like the coffee taste afterwards. I'm actually not a coffee drinker, so that might be why. And my third one is the Strawberry Arcea. And then, for some reason, I can't remember what I had on Monday. It was something with like Strawberry Crème Frappuccino. I can't remember what it is. But that will be in my fourth place, and my fifth is the cake batter, because I don't know what happened there, since you're supposed to put like your birthday cake pop into the drink, and you're supposed to blend it in, but they couldn't do that, so that one's kind of a fail. But um, yeah, so overall, I mean, it was okay, and this is still like a fun challenge, but I don't think I will do this all over again, so... But um, yeah, it was still fun. I don't think I will drink Starbucks every single day like how most people are. I don't know how you guys do that. It's just really killing my body. But um, yeah, so this was fun. Let me know if you have tried any secret menu from the Starbucks. What were your favorite? And yeah, so that'll be it for this week, I guess. So it was fun. I would just need to take a really, really long break from Starbucks, so yeah, so please like, comment, and subscribe so that you'll be notified every time I post, and I will see you in my next one. Bye! <music>